those deemed the lowest in society, the Zebelin, the garbage collectors of Makwata Mountain. Every morning at the crack of dawn, over 7,000 rubbish collectors leave Garbage City on horse carts or small trucks and move into the city of Cairo, where they collect over 13,000 tons of rubbish from nearly 17 million residents and return to the narrow streets of Garbage City, bringing the refuse into their homes. Here the women and children sort it into piles of organic and inorganic garbage. Organic garbage is used to feed the livestock that roam the streets or live on levels just above the people's homes. There was a time when it seemed as though life would never change for these people and no one cared because they were doing a filthy task, a job no one wanted. And then, nearly 30 years ago, one man did care. When I first came to Garbage City and stood at the first street, the homes were all made of tin. The people didn't have a chair to sit on. They sat on cardboard on the floor. There were no roads, no electricity or water. It was not fit for human life. The stench from the dead animals was horrible. But I was not really affected by all this. What affected me personally was the people who were in need of the grace of Christ. Everything else did not matter. The realization of the lostness of these people burned deep within Father Saman's heart. Right then, he determined to be God's instrument of change and he would wade through pig pens such as this and literally pull people from the muck and mire and present them with God's love. It became evident that the Zebulun would need a place to worship and in 1986, when a workman dropped a rock to the ground and it fell into a natural cave, they knew that God had answered their prayers. Father Saman personally supervised the moving of centuries of rubble that lay in a cave carved out by the pharaohs, who had used Maquatam rock to build the Giza pyramids. Many rebuked him for working so passionately and mocked him with questions of whether the stones mattered more than souls. But Father Saman was simply preparing a place that would one day seat over 20,000 people. He was on a mission with God, and his every decision was taken in simple obedience. Over the last three decades, many miracles have happened on Makwata Mountain. Tin shacks have been replaced with brick buildings. The streets have been paved, and yet the children still play amongst the rubbish. But now they have a future, because true transformation is taking place. Signs of this transformation include the building of schools, clinics and churches, all right in the heart of Garbage City. As the sun sets over Makwata Mountain on a Thursday evening, the garbage collectors leave the rubbish in the streets and move into the grounds of the cave church. Here they gather for a time of teaching and preparation for ministry. This work requires great faith and God often reveals himself in miracles and signs and wonders, delivering the oppressed and possessed is almost a daily occurrence on Makwata Mountain. And as people find freedom in Christ, they begin to find beauty in the ashes.